And let's be honest, the reason she can even speak as much as she can right now is because she's wearing a prosthetic device. Yeah, I won't show you take it out, but I'll tell you what it sound like without yeah. it. If I didn't have it in, then this is how I would sound from now on. So basically, your hard palate is how you swallow. Um, it separates your nasal cavity um, from your oral cavity, and it's how you talk. Um, so I'm getting used to a few things right now as far as that goes because he'll tell you the rest of it because it's too, it's hard for me to talk about it that with this right now, but you tell him what's happening next phase and why I sound weird with the obturator in even. Okay, so first of all, real quick, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's reached out with well wishes and, uh, I don't know, you know. Checking in. The things, checking in, checking on us. We've also had people asking, you know, where we've been, why, why we haven't put up videos. Uh, we've had some stuff going on. It's my fault. We haven't done it because of me. <laughs> so I'm going to give a kind of a brief uh, description of here of what's been going on. So I'm going to I'm gonna give a, a quick summary of the last what two and a half years yeah two and a half years uh roughly so it started off uh about two and a half years ago uh, brandy had a small growth in her mouth and we uh hold on one time let me turn this off one time. okay so like i was saying about two and a half years brandy had a small growth on her mouth and <clears throat> we went to the doctor to kaiser Yes, Kaiser, I'm going to say it out loud. And the doctor's name, who, who wish I could remember right Dr. now. Dr. Law. Dr. Law in Fresno. Uh, just, we walked in, he opened the mouth, looked in there and said, oh, you have cancer, I'll give you two some time to, to alone, whatever. Sorry like, oh, you're going to, gonna, yeah, sorry to be, yeah, just a stupid ass move, right? So, we freaked out. Uh, we didn't know what to do. We, he came back in and gave us all the gory details of what was going to happen. And then we uh, went home, freaked out some more. And it was actually the weekend of Summer in the Sierras with Knuckles Up. Which, yeah, and thank God we didn't know. know what else to do. It was, the, it was the weekend. That was like on a Friday this happened. So we literally went straight from that doctor's appointment, got ready, headed up, and did this whole thing. Yeah. Thank God for that ride. It got us through the weekend. So, long story short, uh, the guy was a dumbass and he was wrong and they did a bunch of tests and it came back not cancer and from there I think kind of what happened was that uh, you know we were just like okay it's not cancer let's just take a breather and we'll deal with this tomorrow next day next week whatever and then I never even brought up to you how much yeah. it was interfering with life so yeah so we're both kind of scared uh, we'll put it off for a long time um, I did mention a few times, you know, we need to address this. I actually text uh, someone that I do business with who is an oral surgeon. He said, yeah, you know, let's you know, come in, let's figure this out. We waited a while longer. We're not going to get into how long, but it, it grew significantly. She finally went in. He looks at to it. To a specialist. Yeah, to a specialist. He took a look at it, took a picture of it, sent the picture to a friend. And that doctor's office called her immediately, uh, within minutes, uh, and brought her in. And so for the last, uh, what has it been, four months, three months? About three, three and a half, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, about three and a half months we've been going through that process again. Yeah, because they, yeah, so, they were being very thorough. Yeah. So first thing they did, of course, was uh, come in, look at it, uh, and then schedule for a biopsy. We go back, they do the biopsy. We have to wait. We go back in. We get the results of the biopsy. Uh, comes back not cancer. However, the doctor who's now going to be doing surgery <clears throat> uh, comes in after. So the the doctors we saw say, okay, it's not cancer. They leave. They say we're going to meet with the main doctor. We're going to go over this whole thing and come back and talk to you. Probably an hour. I don't know. Whatever. They come back, um, <clears throat> and they're like, okay. Um, yeah, and, and the main doctor who's going to do the surgery looks at it and says, wow, that, you know, it's kind of big, and it kind of caught him off guard, looked like. And he uh, immediately comes up, and 
great doctor, did a great job, but you know, sometimes he's just kind of the point to the point. He looks at it and says, we want to, you know, we want to do another biopsy. We're going to send that sample off to someone who is more advanced in, in oral. that in oral. Yeah. And in his words, exactly. A lot of times uh, it comes back bad. So now here we are again, uh, waiting for a second biopsy with, uh, not a lot of confidence because the doctor who you know we're putting a lot of trust in to get this figured out and do a surgery has now said that a lot of times it comes back bad yeah he's it's like, scary yeah I've... so we wait for that biopsy takes it, like three and a half weeks yeah it finally comes back uh, not bad not cancer but you know they set us down they're like hey you know there's going to be this surgery and they start going over the details and we're just so still excited about the fact that it's not cancer that it doesn't really sink in what's going to happen right which it's uh i don't know how to put this it's it's gruesome in one way and it's uh awesome in another way because it took care of the problem for sure mm -hmm. and but it's left Randy with um, a minor disability, you'd say. Yeah. So, um, she's not speaking a lot right now because... Because they took my jaw. Yeah, they took a part of the jaw, uh, upper teeth on, this, on, the, on the left side, and uh, she has a giant hole in her mouth. They, they removed, took my palate. Yeah, they removed a portion of her palate. Like 90% of my hard palate, a small part of my soft palate, all the, I had implants, so hardware up into my jaw, and then like my left side um about 90 percent of the left side upper jaw and let's be honest the reason she can even speak as much as she can right now is because she's wearing a prosthetic device Wait, i won't show you take it out but i'll tell you what it sound like without oh. it so if i didn't have it in then this is how it would sound from now on so basically your hard palate is how you swallow um it separates your nasal cavity um from your oral cavity and it's how you talk um so i'm getting used to a few things right now as far as that goes because he'll tell you the rest of it because it's too it's hard for me to talk about it that with this right now but you tell him what's happening next phase and why i sound weird with the obturator in even okay so she's wearing she that's without an obturator and so, back in <clears throat> yeah and this is with and there's, you can tell it's still not, the uh, voice is it not. It sounded better. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll, I'll cover stuff. that real quick. So basically, uh, the, the initial, the pre-op obturator was designed, it was flat, and it was designed to butt up against the uh, packing that they had in the hole that's in her mouth. There's a hole in her mouth where they cut the palate out that, it, that opens her mouth into her sinus cavity. So that's open. So, um, basically, <clears throat> without the obturator, there's just a giant hole. It's hard to speak, I, hard to drink, hard to eat, hard to anything. So, her, the initial pre-op obturator is not designed for long term. It's designed to use during uh, the healing process while there's packing and what's it called? Yeah, Pack? they call it an immediate obturator or yeah, surgical yeah. obturator. And it's basically for the first phase of healing. Yeah. So then what will happen, we have a doctor's appointment next week. We'll go back, and I'm sure they're going to cover this with us more. But there'll be an intermediate or long-term an interim, yeah. interim uh, obturator that will uh, form fit more. Because right now what's happening, she has an obturator in that's flat, that was designed to butt up against packing. All that packing is now out, mm -hmm. and there's a hole, and there's a gap. So if you go from the back, there would be, still be a hole. Yeah, I learned that the it's hard not, way, yeah. drinking water. Yeah, leaning. so if she drinks water right now and leans forward, it will come out of her nose. She cannot drink out of a straw without holding her nose closed. <laughs> that's true. Uh, and it's hard to speak. Yeah. So that's where we're at. Uh, this is what has been going on. This is why it's been hard for us to put up videos. And it's not just the last week or two that there was surgery. This has been... Like I said, three and a half stress. months. Stre yeah, stress, doctor's appointments. And it's oh, and hard. then we had COVID. And we had COVID. Yeah, 
Merry Christmas, a week before surgery, the week prior to surgery, we were both completely down with COVID. I mean, two weeks, down. I got it two weeks before. I was over yeah. it by like mid the week after. He was a few days behind me. Yeah, I had it. I got it about three days after she did. I was down for seven days. She was down for about nine or 10. Yeah. So um, that's where we're at. That's what happened. Uh, we hope to get back to some riding soon that uh, oh, we, we are yeah we are yeah we didn't get to do we didn't get to stick to our normal schedule this year we didn't go to glamis i think one time yeah because we didn't maybe, know when the surgery was, gonna, was gonna be like yeah. well and and we weren't thinking riding we were thinking is this gonna be cancer yeah. honestly that's where we were and then we also thought because they were telling me you know during the surgery there's a chance that if we need to we're gonna have to expose your jaw through the your face and use a part of your chin to or your cheek to cover up the the hole and so we didn't know what was going to happen basically yeah we were just along for a ride that this but i'm gonna say it because he won't say it he had took care of me during covid even when he was sick and then during surgery and after surgery like you know he couldn't go into the hospital with me because of covid so i had to go in by myself but i felt like he was there with me i love you and um he took care of me and did I mean, you should all be so lucky to have someone like him. So thank you, babe. Hey, so that's where we're at. Um, I really don't know what else to say right now. Other than we'll be back with the best video we can do that involves side-by-sides as soon as we can. And I'm going to learn some tricks that I can use <laughs> this hole for. Uh, number one, if you have any ideas. Nothing too rough. I didn't really say it like that so much. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, be careful. And then number two, um, I'll be back better than ever. I think I'm going to be able to sing really well. I feel like I have a feeling. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, That's probably true, he said. You think so? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. All right, anyway. Uh, and it, straight, it made my teeth a little straighter so far. Right. Yeah, the, um, the, the growth, the, we didn't really go over the growth too much. It was huge, and it was actually pushing. I her. will let him put a picture up right here, probably. It was pushing her teeth out. And, uh, but only out. half of them, not all of them. <laughs> so basically, you're gonna see in the title and on the thumbnail, or you saw already on the title and the thumbnail, cancer scare was definitely real. Uh, it was over and over again. Yeah. And if you, I know you guys are gonna say, why wouldn't you've gone? Why Sooner. would you let it go? Yeah. And you're right. I should have. Um, the only thing I can tell you is that that was so traumatic, and um, and then I didn't even when it started getting bigger and worse again and I knew I should go. I never even mentioned it to him. I did a lot of hiding of it. Um, I was yeah, scared. Trust me. That's all, that's it. So anyway, so it, as you saw in the thumbnail and the um, title, Cancer Scare, what is an obturator? Um, you can look that up, but basically it's a device that, that you know, a palatal obturator. Yeah, it's a palatal obturator. Basically it's a device that allows you to function kind of like a normal person your palate is also responsible for like supporting your upper face so i kind of need it i don't need my eye and my mouth or whatever so and you know what thank god like i'm so this so that, i can deal with this yeah this we can do i had a rectangle head yet last week so yeah it was, that was <laughs> a lot of swelling i didn't really get any pictures i'd show them to you. i took some I don't All know right. if you're going to see him, but I did. So we'll just All right. We're going to check out, but we'll get we'll get up the best video we can as soon as we can uh, on side by sides riding, working on them. We've been doing a bunch of even through this. I've had a, uh, quite a bit of work that I've been doing in the garage. So that's where I'm. Yeah. So yeah. well, you've got a lot coming for you guys, especially now. I'm All not right. going to waste my time. All right, we're doing this. Thank you, thank you for being concerned. Appreciate it. Okay, so you told we told you all the things that have been going on. This is uh, our first real outing, right? Yeah. Since all this. Yeah, it is. Since COVID, we and a, then we purposely went on a date the night before my surgery. That's right. So it's our first outing. We have to find just the right thing for you to it's eat. Soft foods. Soft foods, and uh, yeah, we just left Scott and Pam's. We went and hung out there for a while. So now we're gonna have Mexican food because there's rice and beans and like. I look at this menu and I think I can find some stuff. I'm pretty excited. Alright, we're gonna do this thing. Great. How did you feel going out for your first uh, out meal? 
pit for awesome. <laughs> Look how soft my food was. Wow. A variety of soft foods. It's delicious. And then a um, margarita. Nice. That looks watered down. There. No, I'm not going to have one. <laughs> <laughs> We did it. We had the foods. We had the foods. We survived it. I'll tell you something. I don't know if it's just because I haven't been eating like a lot of variety of foods lately, but that was so spicy. Yeah, you had some insure. And I did have insure. Some, uh, some, Pudding. Some, uh, Jello. What are, yeah, and uh, the drink. I went and got you some drinks. Uh, Smoothies? Yeah. Yep. But now you just had real food. Mexican food. And it was delicious. Awesome.